Today, I'm gonna to show you the best rig to use when bank fishing for catfish. It's one of the best catfishing rigs when you're going for them on rivers, you're moving it through currents, keeps it at the bottom, keeps it pretty snag free. I rarely lose this setup, which makes it one of the best. I've just caught some really, really big monsters on this, on this rig. You can fish it with live bait or cut bait. Um, if you're going for flatheads, I do live bait. Blue, fit, blue catfish, they'll bite uh, live bait or, or cut bait. All you're gonna need is an inline bobber, inline sinker, a hook, and some leader. Now, now we have all the gear listed below in the description to make one of these rigs. So go check that out. So first off, we got a three inch Comal inline bobber. It's a slip bobber, so that means it can just go up and down your line without having any friction whatsoever. And it makes it a lot easier to cast. This bobber is also gonna get stopped on the knot be tied so that your bait stays at whatever depth you want it to. Next, you're gonna need some leader. I've got 50 pound test. I tied this 50 pound mono onto my 25 pound mono. I like the added thickness. It makes it more abrasion resistance so that when those catfish are rubbing up against the rocks, you know that the thicker pound test is gonna be able to withstand that. Next comes your inline sinker. You really gotta pick the inline sinker based on the conditions you're fishing. The depth is gonna be a condition. The strength of the current is also another one. I usually use a one ounce weight. Depending on how much water is moving through the river, you oftentimes need to go up by a half an ounce or down by a half an ounce. So that's why I've got a variety pack. Finally, you're gonna have your hook. Um, I use about a five to six aught hook when I'm fishing for my big, big catfish. If you're going for like 10 to 15 pound catfish, a two to three aught hook will work well. All right, so let's get to it. Got my rod and reel, and you've got your main line. The first step in setting up this rig is tying your leader line to your main line. And we're gonna do that through using a double uni knot. So if you know the clinch knot, it's very similar to that. You're basically tying two clinch knots around each line and pulling them together. This works well when you're using braid to mono or even mono to mono. So with your leader line, you're gonna to wanna to make it as long as the depth that you're fishing. So if I'm fishing six feet of water, I'm gonna make my leader six feet because the catfish, they sit on the bottom and you want that bait to be at the bottom. So, you've got your two lines. First thing you're gonna do is cross them. And then you're gonna take this line so it runs parallel to your main line. You're gonna make a loop. Just like this. And you can ignore that other line right now. So you're gonna get it to where you have a loop. Just like that. Got a loop and this line coming through. Next, you're just gonna wrap this tag end into the loop. One, two, I usually do it four or five times. After you have it wrapped four or five times, all you do Pull this tag end and your main leader line. Should close tightly. Just like that. And now you're basically just gonna do the same thing with the other side. So you have your line, you're gonna make a loop, wrap the tag end inside the loop four or five times. Once you have it tight, you can pull the tag in. And it'll tighten up just like that. Now you have your two knots and all you gotta do is just pull tight from both ends and they'll cinch down together. There you go. There's your double uni knot. That's what's gonna stop this bobber from 
going up onto your main line. And now you just snip the tag ends. All right, now you're gonna put your bobber on. You're gonna feed your leader line through the black end on the top of the bobber. Just like that. There you go. As you can see, it moves up and down very easily, but then once it gets that knot, you can't move anymore. So your bait's just gonna be sitting under that bobber at that depth of the leader you chose. This is one of the best ways to get it on the bottom and keep it on the bottom when you're fishing through rapids and it decreases the amount of times you get snagged too. So now you got your bobber. Up next, you're gonna put your inline sinker in. And that's just really simple. Just put your line through the sinker. All right, up next is the hook. Um, I like to snell my hooks when I'm using a float bobber just because I'm going after really big fish. I don't wanna miss them. Um, you can use, also use a polymer knot. I've got a link right up there. So go ahead and click it if you know, don't know how to snell it. I'll, I'm just gonna go through it really quick. You put your line through the eyelet run it parallel to that shank of the hook. Double it back so you have a nice little loop. And then you're just gonna wrap your leader around the hook. Again, I, I do this one like five to six times. And now you've got your loop. Put that loop around the head of the hook. Then you got it over here, and now you're gonna take your tag end up here and put it through that loop. And then hold on to that tag end and just pull. There you go. Just clip the short tag end that's left. And there you have it. Another great thing about this setup is that no matter how long your leader is, you're able to reel it into your spool. So you can see the uh, knot just can go right into your spool and you can cast it out of there pretty smoothly too. Whereas like with other rigs, if you're using a fish finder rig, they've got that big swivel in the weight. You can't get it past that top island. But because we're just using a double uni knot, the slim profile allows it to go through the eyelets and cast really far, really easily. Another great thing about it is that it reduces snags. So say you're fishing from the bank and you get snagged up on this rock. If you reel in and bring tension, it pulls it up and then it keeps moving down. All right, so there you have it. This is the Slip Bobber Rig. All credits to Stenzler for showing me how this rig was made. It's truly a game changer. It makes you lose a lot less gear, and it gets a lot more catfish, covers more ground, catches more fish. That's right, we call it Duncan Stein.